Today we're reminded of the vital roles that kindness, compassion, and understanding play in our lives. This message prompts us to consider our actions and their impacts, aiming to foster a world dominated by love and empathy. Before we get deeper into this profound topic, there's an urgent issue that needs your attention you've received a court notice. Interestingly, this ties back to the themes we're about to explore. Reflect for a moment on the idea of justice. In a world full of challenges and differing views, justice acts as a guiding light, leading us toward peace and harmony. It forms a core part of our moral direction, often guiding us towards acts of compassion and understanding. Now, focusing on the court notice, this unexpected request might seem like a complication, but it also underscores the complexities of life and the conflicts that arise. The spiritual teachings we're going to look into provide us with the tools to handle these challenges with dignity and insight. The individual who sent you this notice might be feeling wronged or upset. As we dive into today's teachings, let's also open our minds to their point of view. Maybe there's a way to mend fences, find common ground, and settle the matter amicably. Empathy is our tool for truly connecting with others. It lets us walk in another person's shoes to feel their emotions and understand their struggles. When we embrace empathy, we make room for healing, forgiveness, and peace. As we revisit the court notice and the disagreement it represents, remember that disputes are natural parts of human life. They challenge our patience, our beliefs, and our resolve. However, the manner in which we deal with these challenges speaks volumes about our character. Let's tackle this dispute with empathy and the wisdom from our teachings, holding true to the values we hold dear. Today's message focuses on peace and reconciliation. It's a reminder that by forgiving others and understanding their perspectives, we can solve even significant problems. Let's approach our current challenges with a heart eager to show kindness and find solutions that benefit everyone involved. Forgiveness is truly powerful. It involves releasing anger and hard feelings, which not only helps everyone involved to heal, but also allows us to start anew with a clearer mind and a lighter heart. When we choose to forgive, we distance ourselves from negative thoughts and negative thoughts and make room for more joyous experiences in our lives. As we delve into today's spiritual message, we find a simple yet profound instruction that has been echoed by many wise figures throughout history, love thy neighbor as thy self. These words encourage us to treat others with the same care and respect that we wish for ourselves. This principle isn't confined to any single religion. It's a universal truth aimed at fostering goodness and compassion among all people. Consider the person who sent you the court notice. Despite your current disagreement, can you make an effort to understand their situation and extend compassion towards them? Even in moments of conflict, it's possible to express love and empathy, which might pave the way for mutual understanding and possibly even a resolution. Understanding someone else, especially when there are disagreements, requires patience and a genuine effort to see things from their perspective. It means setting aside our own views and feelings temporarily to consider why the other person feels hurt or aggrieved. This isn't easy, but it's a crucial step toward building bridges and mending relationships. Moreover, adopting this attitude of empathy and love not only affects our interactions with others, but also enriches our own lives. When we practice what we preach treating others as we'd like to be treated, we live in alignment with our deepest values. 
This brings a sense of peace and integrity to our lives, knowing we are contributing positively to the world around us. Now, think about how this approach can be applied not just to this current legal notice, but to other areas of your life. Each interaction we have is an opportunity to practice kindness and understanding. Whether it's a small misunderstanding with a friend or a more significant dispute like the one indicated by the court notice, each situation is a chance to apply the golden rule of treating others as we wish to be treated. In essence, today's message is a call to action to live our lives as peacemakers and healers. By embracing forgiveness and practicing unconditional love, we not only resolve the conflicts at hand, but also set a powerful example for others to follow. This creates a ripple effect, where the kindness we show can inspire others to act similarly, leading to a more harmonious and compassionate world. Let's remember that each day gives us fresh opportunities to be agents of love and understanding. By choosing to respond to challenges with empathy and kindness, we can transform potentially negative situations into positive outcomes that benefit everyone involved. This is how we build a legacy of love, a true reflection of the divine message to love thy neighbor as thyself. Can you work together to find a peaceful way to sort things out? Loving your neighbor isn't easy, especially when there's a conflict. It means we have to be patient, listen well, and try to understand others even when we'd rather respond quickly to defend ourselves. Looking back at the court notice, imagine if we approached this not as a fight to win, but as a chance to make things better for everyone. This could turn a tough situation into an opportunity to grow and learn to forgive and to move ahead with new understanding and kindness. The Lord's message isn't just for one time or place, it's a truth that fits every part of our lives. It teaches us that our actions, kind or harsh, really do make a difference. Choosing to act with love and empathy makes a positive wave that spreads much further than we might think. As we keep going, remember that choosing love is a choice we make that shapes our lives and those around us. It's about putting kindness and understanding first, even when it's tough. This choice leads to healing, coming together, and a better future. Now, let's think about how using love and empathy as our guides can change not just how we get along with others, but how we feel about ourselves helping us love and care for ourselves more. Caring for yourself is just as important as caring for others. When you feel doubt or criticize yourself, ask do you treat yourself as kindly as you treat others? The Lord's message encourages us to be gentle and forgiving to ourselves too. Self-love is where all other love starts. It means showing yourself the same care, respect, and kindness you give others. When we love ourselves truly, we're better at understanding and loving those around us. Look at the court notice as a chance to practice love, empathy, and self-love, not just with others, but also with yourself. It's a time to be forgiving and understanding, both towards the other person and towards yourself. In the big picture of life, conflicts are just parts of the whole threads in the fabric of our lives. How we handle them, with love and empathy, or with anger, shapes the beauty and strength of our life's fabric. Life is like a tapestry made up of our choices actions and relationships it reflects the love and empathy we share with the world and the mark we leave behind each thread is a moment an interaction and a chance to make a positive difference as you consider the lord's message in your current situation 
Remember you have the power to influence this part of your life's tapestry. You can choose to respond with love and understanding, seeking resolution, or you can choose to confront in conflict. This choice not only impacts the current situation, but also the overall pattern of your life. The Lord's call is for us to be agents of love and understanding now and always. By choosing to be peacemakers and bearers of compassion, we bring to life the divine message we've been given. To sum up, love and empathy are essential. They transform our lives and those around us, helping us to be the force for good that the Lord asks us to be. My dear viewers, show your support by giving a super thanks up to $20.